Hello, I'm Mr. B Bates One, and welcome back to another episode of Better Together Crafters. Man, oh man, I, I have been really busy, really, really, really busy. The the last time uh, I left you in the last episode, we just finished off making the barn or the sheep wool thing, and uh, and off camera, I, I I went a bit and did some more stuff off camera. So I just I just got a bit carried away really, and I ended up building the scenery around the barn as you can see here and uh, I think it looks really really nice I think it looks absolutely fantastic we haven't done the barn yet we're gonna do that in this episode but this is sort of the way it's gonna be laid out so I've built a custom tree here just sort of fill up this sort of corner bit that bit there leading out to town and then this bit over here intro hill no horses past this point please tie up your horse and proceed on foot so this is where you tie your horse up you simply just tie them up to one of these. They got some water, so they'll be fine. Look, so we're at a couple here. How are you doing, guys? You doing good? Well, they seem happy. They're not moaning. Obviously, we got our sheep here. Man, these guys, these guys have been busy too. Look how much wool we've got. Absolutely fantastic. So what we are going to come to today, not just yet, but we are going to come back to this. We're going to get this barn built in. We're going to build a proper storage system in for it as well, so we can hold a lot more wool. We're going to do that in just a moment. But a couple of episodes ago, we had a run-in with the hobos. I don't know if you remember, things did not go to plan. Now, at the end of that episode, I did say that we were going to go in all guns blazing. We were going to show them hobos what for. Now that, that wasn't a figure of speech. When I said all guns blazing, I meant all guns blazing. I think it's time we visit these hobos right now. Oh, maybe not right now. Let's get some sleep, actually. Then we're going to go and visit these hobos. You know, because it's always better to start the day fresh. i got some plans, people. Once and for all, we will solve this hobo problem. I'm telling you now, let's get some sleep. And then let me show you the magic. Obviously, there are no guns in Minecraft. So we have to make our own guns. And that is in the form of a TNT cannon. It's the only gun you can really make, isn't it? I've never made a TNT in Canada before. I don't play factions or anything like that. I, I watched a few videos. I watched a few videos on YouTube. It can't be that difficult, can it? A couple of bits of TNT, some water. Jobs are good. So, I have built this. This is cool. I love the way this looks. This is a 9 by 5 what I'm calling a realistic Wild West TNT cannon. That's what that is. And this thing is going to blast those hobos clean off the land. Check this out. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. I love it. Sort of like a, a cannon being pulled along. We've got some TNT in here. Yeah. I've, I've got some on me as well, but we've, I've put some in there. This is where we're going to sit. You can see straight towards the hobos. There's our little magic button. I'm going to press that and boom! There goes the hobos. You can see them just over there. But I haven't just got the one. Can we see? I don't think we can quite see from it. Oh, just in the distance over there, we have a second one. That's right. We are going to wipe the entire area out. Because, let's face it, the last time we went in there, they booby-trapped the whole area. I am not doing that again. This way, I can clean out the area, not get caught by their booby traps. And it's all going to be loads of fun. So, I think, I think we better get this party started. They don't even know what's coming, do they? Oh, I'm so excited. Kablamo! It's going! Woo! We're going to get bird's eye view. Let's go! Bang! Ba Wait a minute. What happened? It went bang, but... Did it overshoot? What happened? Uh, we've got a... We've got a blooper. Let me just... Is this... What's happening? Oh, I'm stupid. Look, look what's happening. It can't, this is what's happening. It can't get out. Look, see? Oh, I'm stupid. Wait a minute, it's this trapdoor, that's the problem. Got some buttons here. This'll do. Solved it. No longer a problem. This is awesome. And fire! Oh. 
Right, TNT is in. We are now on it. This thing is going to go kaboom right over there, and we are going to go smash. Uh, what? Oh. So today we are taking on some hobos, and uh, <coughs> we'll just we'll just forget that little that little incident from before. And uh, yeah, I have built. I have built something over here, but we need to make some modifications to it. Uh, some some past experiments showed that it didn't quite work under pressure. It all went terribly wrong. So we need to make some modifications to this, but we do have a second one, luckily. Back up. Whew. I need to figure out what went wrong and see if we can uh, see if we can rectify this. Obviously, removing this was not the key. That was terrible. Let's not do that again. I wonder. I've done it. Well, I think so. So I watched some more videos on YouTube and I kind of found out what went wrong. So I've re-modified my cannon. It kind of doesn't look like a cannon anymore though, which is really disappointing. I mean, it kind of does with the wheels, but you know, without any of this sort of stuff on it now, it kind of doesn't. But I've I watched a few more videos. I've seen how it goes. I see what my mistake was. Let's just get up here. So the problem was the TNT couldn't get out and me removing that trapdoor just meant that it blew up and nothing was there so that was terrible that was a bad plan so instead i've done it this way around and this should work according to youtube let me put some tnt in this in fact we're not gonna put loads in i don't want to waste it just in case it blows up again let me just put one in let's see where this goes my fingers crossed now because look this this dude here he's been watching me he knows what's coming i think he's in fact he's just kind of warned them all isn't he oh he is look he's telling them all he's saying watch out here we go. Uh, oh, I forgot I removed the button, didn't I? And, oh no, it's over here. Do I have... I have this. This will do. I just need to get up there. There we go. Platform. Right. Yes, I'm watching you, mate. Oh, fingers crossed. Oh, it's working. Haha, <laughs> it's working. Kaboom! Ah. Oh, well, that was a bit... Disapp... Ah, oh, what? That didn't go very far. Okay, I got it, right? It's Explosions 101. What was happening was, I've just, I've been looking at it for a little bit, right? And I, I, I see, I'm not a TNT person, but what was happening was, we had a slab here before. And I was thinking about this. It's not got a lot of explosion force behind it if half of the slab is taking up all the blocks. So, ideally we need something smaller, like, like the trapdoor. I don't know why I put a slab there before. But, if I stick a trapdoor there, and then sort of block this area in a bit more, this sort of keeps it more enclosed and that should give it a bit more bang for its buck so to speak that's what i think oh you guys are it now mate i've got it going look see that might have been what happened before but we're getting close now me uh let me just fill this up with tnt oh i've already done it oh i've already done it i've already put one in though whoa oh, look at this the hobos man they got back up they got back up Oh, it's just a thingy. Whew. Man. Hobos had back up. Check you out, man. I got him, though. Ha! Thinking you it. Right. They thought they'd get me. It was right at a crucial moment and all that was. Look at that. Just before I was going to press the button. Whew. That got me going. Right. Here it comes, hobos. Kablamo! Kablam! Yes! I hit it! I hit it, let's go again, I hit it, haha, <laughs> oh, I need to put more in. Oh, boys, hobos are having it now. Kablamo, in your face. Hmm, what happened? Did I not, did I forget to, Ah, oh, I did forget to, that did work, my bad. Try again. Ah. Oh, fire! Wait a minute. I don't think that reaches, you know. Let's try that again. Let me just get a close look at this. Oh, I think I built it too far away. Uh, it doesn't reach. Oh no, after all this, it doesn't reach.
It doesn't even reach. Oh. Maybe I'll get lucky. Oh, look, he's on the edge. I'm gonna get him. Oh, got him. Would he want? Hobo nil. That's the first hobo. Gone. Wiped out. Oh. Woody's on a campaign now. Keep firing. Maybe they'll keep coming down. Maybe they'll just keep coming down. I don't know. We got one hobo at least. Ooh, turtles. Look at that. Uh, no TNT. Yeah. Well, that was, that was a waste of time then. Back to the drawing board. I guess guns didn't work after all, did it? Right, let's move on to the next task. You know, after that roller coaster ride, things uh, things not going well to start off with. It was a bit of a downer. Then we were back on an upper again, but it didn't work so well. But then it went back to an upper again, and then went back down 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 to a downer again. So I uh, I think it's time to go with something a bit more calming rather than TNT and canning and everything. I don't know how they do it, players in factions. Definitely not my cup of tea. Scary stuff. Let's let's start getting the barn built and finishing off this area. Here we are, look at this place. It's looking absolutely fantastic. I really, really like it. So it fits in really well here. It's looking absolutely marvellous. Let's take a look inside. So you remember the hassle we had these last time? With them guys there. Not touch them, left them entirely there. I'm not touching them again. Need to get some more materials over here, ready for feeding and stuff, but essentially I've moved it now, so instead of digging in the hole. As you can see now, all the wall sort of comes up here and oh, some sort of filled in there. So eventually all of this will get filled up and we'll have a decent stock of wool. And then over here, we'll just have some sort of random stuff and spare shears and stuff like that. We've got access inside, so we can take a look at the shears and replace them. And so it's basically something come up here as well. Now this is not fully done yet. I haven't fully finished that. I'm looking at that we've got a window in here yet. But... Yeah, it's looking good. It's coming together really, really nicely. Just CBC Hill up sign over there, which is really, really cool. I like that. So, yeah, it's coming along really, really nice, this. I absolutely think it's fantastic. It's a nice addition to the town. And then I sort of just add this little thing on the side here. It, or, or somebody has popped in the ground somewhere, I think. Or is it down here? I don't know. I can't see them. But, yeah, so I've sort of got this little bit here where it just sort of stashes some of the hay bales for the sheep in there. So one last thing then before we call it a day. I I have been busy in other areas as well actually. Let's go take a look down here. So you remember the the buildings we built around the back here? Um, I've, when I said I'd filled the interior in for one of them. Well I've done that now for one of them. So let's go take a look at that. 
And I'll show you. Again, that's not fully done. I'm still collecting stuff. You know, it takes time collecting all the materials. But the shop that I have done is this one. Well, started to do at least is this one. So this is now the bookshop. And anything to do with magical books is going to be in here. I haven't moved all the books over here yet. I've only got a few of them in. Wherever it is, where it, there we go. Yeah, so we've got a few in here. But it's looking really nice. Nice little bookshop interior. We'll just stash all the books in here. If we go upstairs into the upper area. Again, I've not finished up here. There's still more to do, but I thought I'd show you guys because it's looking coming along quite nicely. Hopefully this will be finished off completely the next time around. And we'll have a little enchantment table up here. While Lapis there. It'll be a nice little enchanting area. I think it'll be good when that's finished as well, but I'll I'll show you the complete thing properly when it's done. But yeah, I've been doing that as well, so it's, it's been really, really, really busy. Doing loads and loads and loads of things, trying to get this town finished off. Or at least get a decent part of the town done. But I think I think that's going to be it for today. I think we're going to call it quits. We uh, had some interesting times trying to deal with these hobos. Didn't go to plan at all. And uh, we've done some nice building and put our barn in place, so it looks really, really nice. So, we'll call it there. Thank you very much for watching, guys. We'll catch you guys in the next episode. Bye.